attempts to uh, to uh, drill a half millimeter hole in stainless. I'm going to try brass instead. Now this is a brass. Basically, it's a a pin deal. It's got a brass screw inside of a brass tapped tube. Okay. I'm just going to drill into the head a little bit. I'm going to put a center hole in there first. Make sure that's nice and tight. That's deep enough. Now, back up a little bit, move this guy and show you what I'm doing. Taking this out of the chuck. Oops. Taking this out of the chuck. This is my small center drill that I just sharpened. Now, I'm going to put this in. This is a little tiny chuck with a 0.5 millimeter drill bit that I did not sharpen. This came out of the box, looked good. Out of the box, I tried to, to uh, sharpen the stainless with it, and it did not touch it. So I'm going to try it on brass, and I didn't look at the tip to see if the stainless had worn it down or anything. I'm just assuming there's no damage to the tip. Now, I want to get this situated better. There's a very small window of focus on this guy. And uh, I want to do my best. <coughs> To get that in focus, whoops, to avoid mostly ridicule. Okay, here we go with brass, half millimeter, 0.5 millimeter. Uh, my, see if we got any chips on that. Well, it's going in a little bit. I mean, we could see the end of the things a minute, a second, a few seconds ago. Let me see here. See if there's any chips in my finger here. Very hard to tell. I'll be able to tell when I put the video on a bigger screen, but I can't tell right now. I'm just jamming batteries and uh, yeah put that blade back in this time with some external grip gripation on the uh, that little chuck to get it tighter so it wouldn't slip see Okay, right now it should be starting to cut. I can feel it move just a little bit. It's either slipping again or it's starting to cut a little bit. Need some torque. We're going in, folks. 
rescue mission. Everybody ready? Everybody locked and loaded, we're going in. Okay, so there, I set out to show that my hand ground half millimeter drill bit would cut stainless steel. It does not. Then I tried a factory ground cutting stainless steel. Same thing. Then I tried a factory grind on brass and it goes. It's actually cutting pretty well right now. I should clean those flutes out. I figured the oil will do that for me. Flush it out of there. I'm not sure how long that screw is. Let's see how long the drill bit we got. Yeah, the screw's probably not quite as long as that drill bit, so we should be able to go all the way through the screw. Then I can pull it out and show you the hole. I don't know why. I mean, I've already failed miserably. Probably making a laughing stock out of myself. And I know a lot of people don't like that. They don't like joking around. This is serious stuff. I got rebuked by some really high up YouTube, it's YouTube machinist types. Because I don't do things professionally. One guy even made a video mocking me to show me how bad my videos were. Okay. Well, there is such a thing as entertainment value. Right? If you can learn something, you can learn something. If not, maybe you get a laugh. I think we just went through, folks. There you go. Now, I'm going to leave it running. I think I can unscrew that by hand. And... There's our hole. I'm going to clean that off so we can look through it. Oh, I can't clean it with my fingernail. Let's see if I can get this on here. Oops. Forget you guys don't have much of a field of view there, do you? Alright, let's see if I can clean that this way. One of these ways. All right, see, she's through. I just want that hole to be nice and clean so I can shine a light on the back side, which I'm gonna try right now. I got this little homemade bore light here. Everything I have is homemade. Because it got Sheikh Nyomani. This way it would be easier. She's plugged. Not a very big hole. I don't know if we are going to be able to see through there. Yeah, there we go. Oops, I had it for a second. There it is. 
I think. I can't, I can, I can't, there we are. Yep, there it is, folks. That's a half millimeter hole. But I didn't grind that drill bit. I looked at it and I decided it was didn't need grinding. Okay, and next I'm going to try steel. We'll get that brass out of there and we'll try some steel. All right, I got a center drill in there. Uh, I actually dulled my center drill on that thing, but oh well. Now, see if we can get some. <clears throat> Don't have to scrub the mission this time. I think we got chips coming off, folks. And I just, this drill bit is the one I just broke off in there and I resharpened. Yay! We have proof, folks, that not only can you resharpen a half millimeter drill bit. But you can drill into steel with it. Not high carbon, but I think this may be a better quality drill bit than the first one that bent. But it's going in there real easy. That. Look at how far we are in already. Oh, that tone of the color of the video keeps going from silver to gray. I mean, gray to brown, gray to brown. See the chips coming out? You bite you. She's going in there. Going all the way. I wish I could bore all the way through it and show you guys the hole, but that's I think four inches long that bolt. That'd be a heck of a drill. Four inch long, half inch, half, half millimeter diameter of soft steel made in China. Well, that makes me happy. Now, to give you an idea how small this <coughs> drill bit is, when I was taking the uh, the uh, tailstock off, I slipped and bumped the tip of the of the drill bit, and it went into my finger like a hypodermic. Only it's it's well, I don't know. I'm not sure about sizes of hypodermic. But I would say this one would be equivalent. Wow, I, oh, she let go. Look. It's not that long. It, the, the truck let go. It's stuck in the piece. But anyway, hypodermic needles, I think. They go by numbers. I know a number 20 is really small. So this isn't as small as a number 20 hypodermic. But there certainly are hypodermics bigger than that. Now, I'm going to try taking this out of here by running the drill press backwards and putting a little pressure on there. See if it works. Yep. That's how I get them out when they're stuck. I tighten the chuck, turn the machine on backwards, and run her out. Yeah, we don't have a lot of curly chips, but we have chips, and she cut. Yay! There you have it. All done for that experiment.